Hello everyone, welcome to my keyboard review of the Logitech G Pro. I finally get a keyboard which as you can probably tell I'm very excited about. Now come with me my friends as we go through the specifications. So the switches are Logitech Roma G's and they are good for 70 million key presses. The actuation distance on these are 1.5 millimeters. Two millimeters is normally the average with an actuation force of 45 grams, which would make it similar to MX Cherry Reds. And the total travel distance is three millimeters. The keyboard weighs 980 grams. It has a 1.8 meter braided cable and it's 360 millimeters wide, 153 millimeters tall and 34 millimeters high. It's a 10 keyless design so no numpad for you and of course you do get 16.8 million colours. Speaking of which, viewer interaction is apparently encouraged so please let me know which one of the 16.8 million colours is your favourite in the comment box below. Make sure you press enter as well afterwards. Okay so with the switches to make this as brief as possible they are like MX Cherry Browns but they are a bit lighter. That's all you need to know I'm not really going to bore you any further. These Roman G's are made by Omron so Logitech approached them to help them make a keyboard switch and this is the result. There's a Linus Tech Tips videos where they took a tour of the factory where they make the switches and it's really worth watching. I could regurgitate the content here to improve the length of the video but honestly just watch the video it gives you some good insight into the design choice and the quality control that comes with their switches. There are some extra little things that I guess Logitech have done which all in all makes this keyboard 25% faster apparently and it's a lot more responsive. Honestly I couldn't tell. With this switch though they made it so the LED shines straight through giving an even lighting effect or something like that. Honestly I don't care the lights just turn on which brilliant it's bright. Now for a quick noise sample. Moving on the keyboard in general has impressed me quite a bit mainly because it's a 10 keyless version which I'd love to see more of from gaming keyboards in general. The only issue I have is that as far as I know you can only get a US version of this keyboard. I can only assume that Logitech hate Europeans. The features out of the box are very basic. You have a light switch, gamer mode which disables a windows key. This is something you could do more with which I'll get onto later. And there's also media keys. Build quality wise is impressive. Everything here feels like a nice high quality keyboard. You also have a detachable USB cable which has a trademark Logitech thickness of a rope. Underneath there's plenty of rubber pads to keep it in one place and you get some really nice secure stands. You also have three positions for it as well which is nice as more choices doesn't hurt anyone. My only other minor issue with the form factor is this fat bar at the top which I can't help but feel could be shaved down by a lot which would have saved weight and space. The software that comes with this is what I guess takes it up a step and as it is for me it's a great keyboard. Firstly going back to the game emoji you can select as many keys as you want with the software which I won't use but I've seen plenty of other people have pulled out keys from the keyboard so they don't hit it by mistake whilst they play. Why they don't just unbuy the key from the game I don't know. Anyway the feature is there and it works. You also get an array of super cool macros for your keyboard. It also searches for any installed games that it supports. This is so then you can have extra commands and macros binded to your F keys specifically. The lighting options are there. I will admit some of them do look pretty neat. You can even create your own lighting effects as well. And also you can have lighting profiles that is also game specific. So you can have the flashy light show when you are on your desktop and when you go into a game it will switch to something more subdued. Overall this keyboard is really neat, the price is a bit steep at £129 but, but that's the same price as other full feature mechanical keyboards. One thing I guess does impress me is the effort of making your own switch and I get the impression that a lot of effort went into it to make sure it's reliable. Logitech have a good history of really putting a lot of effort into research and development and again it applies here as well. Honestly I happily recommend this keyboard. The only disappointment is a lack of UK layout. Now everyone won't be the same as me. I've had other keyboards that were in the US layout and I've gotten used to it so it won't bother me. But for others I'd imagine it will. Regardless I'm confident that this might be my daily driver from now on. Even over my trusty Leopold that I've had for years and a new one I built from a keyboard kit that looks like it's made out of macaroni. Logitech have really impressed me on this. I was very skeptical when it came to the switches but yeah if I'm honest everything's absolutely fantastic. That's all I can say. There's nothing more to say about this absolutely fantastic keyboard. So don't forget to yeah do all that rubbish with subscribing and shit. Um, we should have some more keyboards coming up as well as well as some mice so stay tuned.